This is Rick Countryman from the Corn Life Network, and I'm quitting vaping now. One more. Woo. Well, I can't say that I didn't enjoy vaping. I have. I have, and sometimes I still do. But that's not the issue. The issue for me is addiction. This is just as addicting as cigarettes were. This is just as addicting, if not even more, than cigarettes were. Um, I recently visited a doctor um, doing some blood work to check up on all kinds of stuff, and he saw that I was a vapor, so he did a, a level that told how much nicotine was in your bloodstream. I have about 100 times more nicotine in my body than the average smoker does. I hit this a lot more at 6 milligrams than I did any time smoking a cigarette. It was, it's, it's crazy to think that my nicotine levels are that high through the rough. So I decided, number one, I don't want to be addicted to things. That, that's kind of the case with me. I don't like, I, I, I've been addicted. I don't like being addicted. It's just not a good feeling to know that if I don't have this, I'm not going to feel good. So it's worth it for me to go through the three or four days of worth of nicotine addiction hell than to actually continue to do this. So I've taken my last pups off this vape and I will document all that I'm going through in this series of vlogs. Um, the first thing that I'm, I'm going to talk to you about is just the, the overall fear of the addiction withdrawal process. Last time I did it, I was sick and in bed for three days after I did it. Three days, and then I gave back in and I started vaping again. So this time I'm doing it more serious. I'm getting rid of the vape, I'm doing all these things, and I'm just going to live through the process of what I know is coming. <laughs> I seriously was sick in bed for, for two, three days, and I started vaping again. So the, the mental addiction's there too. You've got to mentally be prepared to quit an addiction, and this is just as much of one as anything else like cigarettes. So with this, but the fear in my that I have of knowing that I've done this is a little bit there. I I I I gotta admit that because if you don't admit it, you're not you're not fully dealing with the fact that you are quitting an addiction. And it is an addiction. I know a lot of people who are at zero and stuff like that and still do it and, and, and they don't have problems with the health addiction, health problems. I don't have health problems with this either. It's not causing me problems except that high nicotine level in my bloodstream. I'm not crazy about that. It can cause problems with uh, healing and all kinds of other things. And since somewhere in my near future, somewhere in my future, near or far, I'm going to have my, my, my uh, knees replaced. So it's important that I don't have something in there that could cause nicotine actually causes you to heal at this level, so at the levels I am, to not heal as quickly. Well, I don't want that. I want my knees to heal really quickly. I want to get better and be better. And I can think of myself as being better without the nicotine. So that, that's the reason why. And that's the fear. So I have not yet dealt with any of the, 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 the nicotine withdrawals. I haven't dealt with any um, uh, of the things that are actually going to happen to me as I go through this, like the headaches and the, the this overall malaise and sickness that I'll feel as the nicotine leaves my body. And that'll take about 72 hours. So the next time I check with you, I'll back, we'll be back tomorrow about this time. Um, and it's about 2.30. So I take I, I started about 2.30. And um, tomorrow I'll be back at 2.30 to um, tell you more about this. See how I'm feeling. Anyway, it always is for the dream. Rick Countryman, Corn Life Network, I'm out. Oh.